Now, I do promise to, uh, that will be giving you a video on Bitcoin wallet because the last video we talked about you buy the coin from Coinbase and it's going to be delivered to you, right? Now, your, your wallet is like a repository where you actually store, kind of a vote where you actually store um, your, or your money. So you become your own bank. You know when to dispatch your money? There are no intermediaries to tell you, hey, this is the limit you can actually send. This is how far you can go with it. You need to sign some document and the rest of them. No, you become the one who authorizes your transactions. You become the one who keeps your money. You are your own bank. So that is the power wallet gives you. So there are different versions like you have a mobile desktop wallet. Then you have hardware. Then you have a mobile like Android. You see some of all these stuffs, and then the, you have the web wallet with all this. Every of them have, um, everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. Now, let's talk about the desktop, then the hardware, and then the mobile, and then the web. You already know that your desktop runs under certain uh, softwares, which is called the operating system. And Basically, what you should be concerned about is security. It's of um, it's security is of utmost concern. All of them will do basically what, what a coin uh, a wallet can actually do. So you can see them for your, for yourselves. And uh, if you are using if you are using a way a, a, a desktop wallet, what I would advise you to do is when you see sites like uh, BitTorrent sites like Kickass, Pirate Bay, you actually get. Uh, that uses uh, Bitcoin technology and the rest of them. I would advise you to stay away. And not only will you stay away if you are using um, desktop now, uh, desktop wallet. I would say you should. You should ensure that your security is not compromised with your system. And then number two thing again is I will ensure you you become the only person who gets access to your laptop or to your desktop or to your computer. It's a very it's, it's of very very serious consequence that you become the only one who gets access to your laptop or someone who you can actually confine in because um you don't want to joke with whatever you have then let's go to uh, we'll talk about the the hardware uh, at the last let's talk about the mobile wallet the mobile wallet is still the same thing like um the desktop in the in the sense that they are being stored on devices and the rest of them I mean, the devices we actually interact with on a daily basis. Um, there are many of them mobile wallets, but then that and that is, is the advice that goes be, be, be ensure that you are the one. If okay, maybe ensure that you are the one, the only one who operates your phone because you there are you already know that if you are operating your phone, there are things you don't want people to actually see with your phone of which you consider to be of privacy. So ensure that you are the ones. You are the only one who uses your phone. And when you talk about the mobile wallet, you set very we'll talk about how you can actually secure your wallet uh against very prying eyes or accidental stuff and the rest of them. And then the last one, uh, the third one is the web. The web wallet is not very, very secure because you know you already know that the internet is not very good, um very secure per se, but it still has its own um they have their own pros and their own cons and we'll look about how you can actually address that and then you have uh, the web uh, the, the hard wallet so in, wherever the if you're either you're using the desktop or you're using the mobile or you're using the web you need a hard wallet for the hard wallet you have services like keep key Leisure Nano, Leisure Nano is very, very common, and also Trezor. All of them are unique in their own terms. So, with this stuff, you can back up your your coins to this hardware wallet, like a flash, and you can take it about with yourself. Now, let's talk about how you can secure. You can secure your Bitcoin wallet.
you know i'm very very um i'm very very careful when i deal with online services like i saw a kind of uh something online and they were like saying you can open allow them maybe contribute to the foundation maybe it's a non-profit organization you can can actually mine coins with your system and some other stuff. We've heard stories of people mining Monerion with people's system. There are some websites you you actually go to and unknown to you, um, coins are being mined with your computer hard hardware and you don't want that. So I believe if you are trading with cryptocurrencies and you that stuff, you are you by now you would have known that uh, free is not really free. Um, the Facebook, the Twitter, the YouTube, the uh, the WhatsApp, all these all these services that you actually Google, you use for free, um, is not really free. You have to understand that free is not free. You have to, yeah, you have to understand that because uh, Google have employees. Have you ever thought of that? But you're using this stuff for free, so you know that um, what you not what you're not actually paying for, you are paying for it at a much larger cost. So you should be very very careful with online services and then another stuff again another thing that also help with securities um you spread you spread you spread your wallet so you know, you're not going to say you have a large chunk of your of your of your money is just one wallet what if anything happens to it it's like a man who's traveling who's traveling from the mediterranean to another part you try and um since there are no insurance in the system you try to be very very careful you try to spread uh, put it on small amount and the rest of them and then another thing again is that will also, also help you is um there are people who like to show off um they're like hey i made such a such a amount of money i can actually make it yeah but you have to be very careful you know um if you say to people Man, this is how much I make. Do you know what you are doing? You are attracting thieves. Oh, this guy, you are making money like this? What is your home address? And they go after you. But with Bitcoin, nobody knows your address. But you have to know that when you are making such broadcasting, Facebook and the rest of them, you are doing that on the internet. And there are smart guys who are very, very smart who can go after you. So be very careful. So you try as much as possible. You may not, you may, you may not keep your 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 Bitcoin or your crypto uh, lifestyle to be very very private per se. But you you you've got to, in the sense that you, people may be aware that you are into Bitcoin trading and the rest of them. But if there is one thing you should consider, you should consider how much you really have. You should consider it because. It's really of no benefit if you tell people how much you have. Are you going to give to them? Is it going to increase how much you have? So, to me, I will not, I will not say it's very foolish, but uh, it will be more wise if you if you are very very careful. And then another thing again is um, you back up your wallet of fish to hardware and the rest of them. So these are some of the other. Uh, back you can back up your entire wallet with handy keys and the rest of them so when you back up your wallet this is when you basically have um private keys and the rest of them which are called recovery phrases when you are dealing with mobile wallets phrases where they tell you input these phrases and you have to input it and you actually be able to do that and then you can also encrypt online backup and do that stuff. So you have to see the disclaimer that they said any backup that is stored online is very vulnerable. Please, you have to know that, that the internet has not really come to the point where it's decentralized in the sense that um, when you have a website or you're using an online service, most of these online services, they are stored in just one, one spot. So once an attack is launched against this platform, since the, the files are not uh, duplicated and encrypted um, in different locations and it just just only one spot once they attack it 
it's be, it's, it, you know, people can actually attack it and it can become very very vulnerable that is why um, the blockchain is, is a very, very unique technology because with the blockchain you are able to split uh, split the files into um which is called the uh, fungibility is fungible that is you can actually divide it and store different piece and encrypt then and store different piece at um, different locations that are very anonymous and nobody can actually get into into them so you have to understand that uh any anything you do online is very very susceptible to attack so you have uh, used many uh, secure locations like cds usb keys paper and that will be another uh, topic for uh, another thing they make reg uh, regular backups they encrypt your wallet with strong password and the rest of them then you have the offline wallet for savings and some other stuff and keep your software secure multi signature to protect against thieves theft and think about your testament maybe, maybe your bitcoin could be lost forever if nobody actually have a uh, backup plan and the rest of them for, for yourself so you have to think um you have to think about security let's think about security and one of the things you you have to know is you don't have to um you don't have to make your you don't have to broadcast yourself to the people why because in 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 the blockchain there's what called the block explorer block explorer is basically a kind of uh, infrastructure or kind of system that is designed for you to actually track every transaction so when you send money to um you see something like this now okay bitcoin is supported by it's going it's going to be supported so you can support now once you know about bitcoin instead of you having your normal address you having a uh, alphanumeric as your address so you, your name you, nobody knows your name nobody knows your location to pass to an extent and then nobody knows who you are so you are you are unique on the platform by an ID. So with that ID, someone can actually track how much was sent to you, and how much and the other stuff. So as you can see, with, with the help of a block explorer, so if we open this now, you see a transaction that actually took place. So we can track this uh, transaction That's why this see with your eyes. Number of transactions on that uh, block. You can see number of transactions, estimated output, estimated uh, transaction volume. And then you can see how much is in, like how much was moved and the rest of them. You can see things for yourself. So you can track and keep track if you have the time. And uh, you can keep tracking and tracking. And you can track where this thing led to, you can keep tracking and tracking and tracking and tracking and tracking. So um, you've got to be very, very careful. So security should be your utmost concern in the space, security. How do you ensure uh, maximum security? In the, my next video, I'll be telling you how this is just an intro into um, the security for the system. How do you actually secure, uh, secure it? So I'll be showing you um how to actually set up the leisure and how to buy the leisure in the some of the other on the other stops so thank you for being there with me this video has been very very helpful you can consider sharing with your friends you can consider uh, commenting if you have any questions you can comment you can like and i'll see you in the next video so thank you bye